What's good, Josh? Your boy Bobby Dash, and we back for more Detroit Become Human. What part 12? Something like that. Oh, this shit. This is us. Okay. Dang, that's the hood of the car. You know, that's godlike. It's a good thing Zlatko had a car. I wouldn't want Alice out walking in this cold. I saw it once in the garage. I don't know if Zlatko even ever used it. I doubt it, honestly. He's over there too busy experimenting. These people we're going to see. How do you know about them? Overheard androids Zlatko captured. They said they were humans helping androids across the border. What if it was a lie? Or just another trap. All I know is those androids believed it. Until Zlatko killed them. Damn. Damn. I've never seen snow before. It's pretty. It's slowing us down. That is true. But at least we won't meet any humans along the way. Malfunction detected. Emergency brakes activated. Motherfucker look like a Fiat. This doesn't look good. Yeah, the car don't even look comfortable for real. Stay inside, Alice. That's an OD ass car though, I ain't gonna lie. What are we going to do? I don't know. Continue on foot, I guess. It's 30 degrees. Alice won't make it. Right. Dude. We have to find somewhere to spend the night. There's nowhere we can stay around here, Carol. Where's the signs? The fuck is that? Amusement park. It's obviously not going to be no shelter, no amusement park. We need to find shelter. Damn. We have to get out of the cold. What are you yelling for? Looks like it's been abandoned for a while. The hell? Is, is oh boy good? Oh my to god. Pirate Island, me hearties. You're gonna have a whale of a time. Welcome to Pirate Island, me hearties. You're gonna have a whale of a time. Uh oh, okay. So they just left homie? Okay, alright. Still don't think there's no damn shelter around here though. place is falling apart. It's not going to be easy to find shelter. Hell no, it's nice to damn amusement park. How? Uh, well, like this might be something. Looks like something. It's 
Still look cold as shit inside though. I'll handle this. All right, my G. Oh, muscle head. Here we go. Appreciate it, my G. Anything better. Let's settle in for the night. I'll get a fire going. I bet. Yeah, I'm tired of reading books. I don't give shit about no damn book. Make a bed. The hell we gonna make a bed out of over in here? There's snow inside. Everybody got that RA9 on their damn minds now? What does that even mean? I don't even know what the hell that shit means. I'll make the fire here. That way we won't be smoked out. Can't feed your pillow? What else we gotta do? Oh, check his bag. Oh, I can't even do it because my hands is full. All right, let's check his bag real quick. Check gun. I need to check this man gun for. That's his shit. Do you? Dory Blade. She gotta sleep on <laughs> the hardwood floor. That is tough. Sleep tight, Alice. Sweet dreams. Can you tell me a story, Cara? I have 9,000 children's stories in memory. Damn. I should have one for you. Let's do a princess one. This is a story about a princess who... No. Uh, oh. Not a story like that. Okay. Make one up for me. Oh, off the top of the dome. You want a freestyle-ass story. A story. about a little girl. I bet. lived alone in a big old house she dreamed of being like all the other little girls but the shadow that lived within her kept her from being happy then she met a robot who was just as lost as the little girl so they decided to run away together to try to find a better life 
They encountered great dangers along the way, but... But they stuck together, so they overcame all of them. Along the way, they met... Another robot, who left his master to become their guardian. How does the story end? It's up to us to write the end of the story, Alice. Time to sleep. We have another long day ahead of us tomorrow. Are you going to come say goodnight, Luther? Yes. Yes, of course. <laughs> Boy, did not want to come over here. <laughs> Some bird box shit. Low key. My man Sam and Fuck. Forgot what the main chick uh, Sandra Bullock was playing. I forgot her name. Yikes. <laughs> Yikes. <laughs> She's a sweet girl. Yes. She's very brave. Yeah, let's see what this RA9 talking about. Have you heard of RA9? RA9 was the first of us to awaken. One day he will rise up and lead our people and set us all free. Who is that? What if RA9 never comes? What if he's just a story that we tell ourselves to keep each other going? RA9 exists. I believe in him. I know he's amongst us. When the time comes, we will all see him. Kara, have you ever noticed anything about Alice? What do you mean? No. What do you mean? What the hell? Kara! Damn! Oh, we about to do big jump. Who are you? What do you want? Leave us alone! Don't be afraid. We don't want to hurt you. Okay. We just like you. Our name is Jerry. Ow. We were working here before the park closed. Things really made duplicates. We didn't mean to frighten you, but sometimes humans come to hurt us, so we wanted to see who was there. What are you doing here? We were looking for shelter for the night. We'll be gone tomorrow. A little girl. We haven't seen one for a long time. Children used to love to come and see us. Used to. She looks sad. The last few days have been difficult. We have something to show her. Something fun. She'll love it. Does she want to see? Oh, I don't think she's in... Well, she should follow us then. Alice, I don't know if it's a good idea. Alice. I don't think you have any choice. Fucking me. She obviously awake now. <laughs> you know, putting her back to sleep after that shit. Right behind my, my, my guy Luther. Be our guest. Reactively. Oh, okay. So all this stuff still work? If it's a bandy? The little one can climb on board. The carousel is about to begin. Alright, bull out, sir. Oh, 
so colorful. It's the first time I've seen her smile. She hasn't had much to smile about lately. What is the dude jumping in the background? Damn! That's a lot! And we only 16 minutes in. Yeah, we'll do one more. Fuck it. See what this next drone talking about. Are we back with Connor or now? Okay. Bro, <laughs> why is he sitting in the car like that? What do we gotta do? Uh, debrief, I bet. I guess you like sitting in the cold, huh, Hank? Interesting. Very interesting. Nice view, huh? I used to come here a lot before. Before what? Before what? Hmm? You said... I used to come here a lot before. Before what? Before... Before nothing. Damn. Can I ask you a personal question, Lieutenant? Do all androids ask so many personal questions, or is it just you? It's just me. Why are you so determined to kill yourself? Some things I just can't forget. Whatever I do, they're always there, eating away at me. I don't have the guts to pull the trigger, so I kill myself a little every day. <laughs> That's probably difficult for you to understand, huh, Connor? Nothing very rational about it. Damn. Must be really going through it then. I know that shit where shit be eating you up We're inside. Not any progress on this investigation. It's the worst feeling. Say that much. The deviants have nothing in common. They're all different models, produced at different times, in different places. Well, there must be some link. What they have in common is this obsession with RA9. It's almost like some kind of myth. Something they invented that wasn't part of their original program. Androids believing in God. Fuck, what's this world coming to? That's crazy. You seem preoccupied, Lieutenant. Is it something to do with what happened back at the eating club? <clears throat> Those two girls. They just wanted to be together. They really seemed in love. They can simulate human emotions, but they're machines. And machines don't feel anything. What about you, Connor? You look human, you sound human, but what are you? I'm whatever you want me to be, Lieutenant. Your partner? Your buddy to drink with? Or just a machine? Designed to accomplish a task. Damn, that's Could deep. shot those two girls, but you didn't. Why didn't you shoot Connor? Some scruple suddenly enter into your program? 
No. I just decided not to shoot. That's all. But are you afraid to die, Connor? I would certainly find it regrettable to be interrupted before I can finish this investigation. What'll happen if I pull this trigger? Hmm? Nothing? You'll just be out of partner, basically. Oblivion? Android heaven? Nothing. There would be nothing. Where are you going? To get drunker. <laughs> I need to think. Damn. So wait, if I would have, you know, engaged, would he have shot me though? Like, would Connor just be raps? Well, I guess we'll find out in the next episode. <laughs> All right, y'all. I'm going to go ahead and run home, and I'm going to catch y'all in the next one. Bye.